When it comes to hot glue sticks, are they pretty much the same or are some brands actually better than others? When it comes to price, there's definitely a difference between the brands and some of these brands claim to be five times more durable or in other instances, professional grade or professional strength. So the question is, is there really any difference? Well, let's find out. To determine which hot glue is best, we'll be conducting three separate tests along with multiple samples of each test. In the first test, we'll be measuring the shear strength by using 2x4s. In the second test, we'll be measuring the tensile strength of hot glue using 1x2s, all cut from the same stack of lumber. A jig was used to ensure the holes were centered, equally spaced, and drilled in a straight up and down position. Painter's tape was applied to the center of the board before cutting the board into two pieces to prevent the hot glue from sticking to the sides of the wood resulting in inaccurate test results. Each test piece was then numbered before cutting the boards into two pieces to make sure that the original fiber pattern was maintained when gluing each test sample back together in its original position. In the third test, we'll be measuring tensile strength of the hot glue on one half inch threaded PVC end caps. Tape was wrapped around the caps and then a razor knife was used to cut the tape. Each piece of PVC was cleaned with denatured alcohol. Each brand of glue was applied using its own glue applicator. All glues were applied using the 100 watt setting after a 15 minute warm up period. Since we're testing on a smooth surface, I used five test samples in anticipation of a lot of variation in the test results. After gluing each of the paired PVC caps, they were placed in a clamp until fully cured. For the shear strength test on wood, I'll be using a couple of 2x4s forming a T. So what I've done is I've placed a tape perimeter around the board to keep the hot glue from sticking to it. I'll be placing one 2x4 down into this slot and then after I apply the hot glue, I'll be fastening it down with this deck screw in order to make sure it's held in place firmly while the glue cures. Once it's cured, I'll remove the deck screws before the testing. In order to test shear, I'll be installing this bracket on each one of the test pieces to make sure that we have it secured. I'll add a couple of drywall screws just to make sure that this does not come off the test sample. AdTech claims that their product is a pro-strength glue stick. This is only designed for high temperature. Pro-strength bond for wood, metal, glass, and many plastics. Okay, Adtech did a terrific job of bonding to the board. The glue itself did a great job. As you can see, it actually ripped the side of the board off. The only brand I could find at the local Home Depot and Lowe's is the Aero brand. It's an all-purpose multi-temp glue stick that's designed for crafts, hobbies, and general repairs. The Elmer's glue sticks claims less mess, eliminating stringing, and claims to have some new advanced technology. The Flow glue sticks, they're designed for metal, wood, glass, card, fabric, plastic, ceramics, and more. Gorilla hot glue sticks are supposed to be five times more durable for projects that last. High temperature is set up for wood, plastic, metal, glass, and more.
The Stanley Dual Melt Dual Temperature Glue Sticks are all purpose. SureBonder Clear Sticks claims to have an A-plus quality bond. We'll be testing the tensile strength of hot glue in the next test. So what I'm going to do is slide the test pieces into the test jig. In the next test, I'll be attaching these two pipes to our PVC ends and then pulling them apart for the tensile strength test.
At the bottom of the screen, you'll see the brand and the price per inch of the hot glue stick. At only five cents per inch, Shear Bonder came out on top providing 1,523 pounds of sheer force strength and Stanley came in a close second at 1,503 pounds. That's actually more sheer strength than using two 16 penny nails. Very impressive. Falotin Aero costs a little bit more and did very well at around 1,350 pounds. For the wood tensile strength test, Falot is a clear winner delivering an impressive 800 pounds of tensile strength. One of the test samples for Falot was thrown out since the test sample broke during the test. Once again, Stanley came in second place demonstrating that it's a well-designed glue. Grillo Aero and Sure Bonder did a very respectable job providing over 350 pounds of tensile strength. For many hot glue applications such as plastic, glass, and painted metal, the ability to stick to a smooth surface is critical and Stanley totally dominated the competition by consistently delivering over 400 pounds of tensile strength on the PVC end caps. The nearest competitor, the Aero brand, finished in a distant second at 168 pounds, which is still very impressive considering the small contact area. Gorilla, Sherbonder, and Falot rounded out the third, fourth, and fifth place positions. To sum it all up, Stanley finished in second place twice and in first place once with an overall average finish of 1.66 and seems to be the best all-around hot glue stick. Falot, Aero, and Sherbonder are also very good products with an average finish between three and four. Fortunately, when it comes to hot glues, you don't have to pay more to get more. In fact, it's quite the opposite. The least expensive product we tested, which is Stanley, came out in first or second place in every category. I'm very impressed with it, especially on smooth surfaces. It did extremely well on that PVC tensile strength test just totally dominated the competition by having just about twice as much tensile strength as the second place finisher. I had a lot of fun doing this test. Please keep those video ideas coming and I'll keep making videos. Please take care and I look forward to next time.